This is question number 24. We're told OACB is a parallelogram. The vector OA is equal to A and the vector OB is equal to B. D is the point such that the vector AC is equal to the vector CD. The point N divides AB in the ratio 2 to 1. In part A, we're asked to write an expression for the vector ON in terms of A and B. The question carries three marks. OK, so if I want to go from O to N, I can go from O to A and then A to N. So what I'm going to write then is that the vector O to N will be equal to the vector O to A plus now the vector A N. So all I'm going to do is build this up. Now I know that the vector O to A is going to be equal to A. Then what I'm going to have then is A to N. We can see that N splits this line into three parts. So we've got one third AB, two thirds AB. So all I'm going to do is write that this is going to be two thirds of the vector AB. Now the vector AB is simply B minus A. So I'm going to have A plus two thirds of B minus A. If I expand the brackets, we're going to have A plus two thirds B minus two thirds A. And I can write this now as one third A plus two thirds B. So that's now in its simplest form. If you like, we could factor this. We could write this as one third A plus two B or one third 2b plus a. Entirely up to you. I've put it like so, either one of these answers would be perfectly fine. Okay, moving on to part b, and this is an asterisk question, so we will be awarded marks for the quality of written communication. In part b, we're asked to prove that O N D is a straight line, and this part carries three marks. So what we're looking then at is O N D. So let's just go ahead and do that. So that's what we want. We want to show this is a straight line. OK, so let's look at some of the information. What I'm going to do, and I'll just write it here. I appreciate the questions down here. We can say that OB, the vector OB, will be equal to the vector AC, as that now is a parallelogram. So this vector is the same as this one. We're told in the question that the vector AC is equal to the vector CD. And we can write that that will be equal to B. So all we've got here is the vector B and we've got the vector B. What I want to do is go from O to D. All I'm going to show is that it's a multiple of the vector ON. We know that O lies on both of the lines, so all I'm going to do is show that it's a multiple of this particular vector. So what I'm going to write then is that OB is going to be equal to O to A. So I'm going to go from O to A. Then I'm going to go from A to C, so plus A to C, so the vector AC, plus now the vector CD. So I can say that OB is going to be equal to OA, which is A, plus AC, which is going to be B, plus CD, which is going to be B. I'm going to write this, and I'm going to factor this. I'm going to write that OB is going to be equal to 2b plus a, and I'm going to write it as one lot of 2b plus a. Therefore, I'm now going to say that ob, the vector ob, is going to be equal to three lots of the vector on. So three lots of the vector on. So all I've shown it now is that this one right here is a multiple, so it's in the same direction and it's three times longer. So therefore, OB is equal to 3 ON, and we can say now that OND, therefore, is a straight line. So it is a straight line. So all I've done is shown the direction of this vector is the same. It's just one multiple now of the other. So it is a straight line. And this is one of the many ways that you could get the three marks. I've simply structured this to say I'm going to go from O to D, and show that it's a multiple of O to N, therefore it's a straight line. We've got a common point here, and we've just done this. So this would be sufficient, and it's one of the many ways that you could answer that question.